I wrote for my blog from the jail. It's 19th of February 2004. The toilet I sleep next to is full of sewage. We've had no running water for three days. Yesterday, I knew we were in trouble when the mound in our steel throne peaked above sea level. Inmates often display remarkable ingenuity during difficult occasions, and this crisis has resulted in a number of my neighbours defecating in the plastic bags the mouldy breakfast bread is served in. For hours, they kept those bags in their cells, then disposed of them downstairs when allowed out for showers. As I write, inmates brandishing plastic bags are going from cell door to door, proudly displaying their accomplishments. The whole building reeks like a giant port loo Putting a towel over the toilet in our tiny cell offers little reprieve. My neighbour Eduardo is suffering diarrhoea. I can't imagine how bad his cell stinks. I'm hearing the local health department has been contacted. Hopefully they will come to our rescue soon. 20th of February. My cellmate couldn't hold his in any longer. He pinched his nose and lifted the towel from the toilet. Repulsed by the mound, he said, There's way too much crap to crap on, dog. I'm going to use a bag. So as jail etiquette demands in these situations, I rolled over on my bunk and faced the wall. I heard something hit the rim of the seatless toilet and him say, damn, I missed some. When he was done, he put the finished product by the door and the stink doubled. He had no water to clean where the errant piece had fallen on the toilet, so it remained forming a crustacean on the rim. We were hoping to be allowed out to dispose of the bag until the guard announced. There will be no one coming out for showers and phone calls, we have to get 120 inmates water from an emergency container. The water came back on in stages. In our toilet, its level slowly rose. Oh no, I said. It's about to overflow and we'll be stuck in here with sewage all over the floor. One of us needs to stick his hand in the crap to let the water through, my cellmate said, and you're the closest. <laughs> the brown soup was threatening to spill from the bowl so I put a sandwich bag on my hand. I can't believe I'm doing this, I said, plunging my hand into the mound. The mound took the bag from my hand. Almost up to my elbow in sewage, I dug until the water level sank. I owe you one, dog, my cellmate said. It's your turn next time, I said. Because the tap water hadn't come back on, I couldn't wash my arm. Not wanting to contaminate anything in the cell, I sat on the stool until a guard lets out for showers hours later. <laughs>